Yo, what's going on, people? I'm about to go inside Publix to get me something to eat. And I'm going to go to the gym today. I'm going to start running on the treadmill, get back in shape, because, you know, the summertime is coming. And, you know, I'm, I'm not showing off anybody, but you tend to wear less coverings when you are, you know, when it's hot outside, especially in Florida. You don't you don't really wear shirts or, or pants. You wear shorts and you wear, you know, your your shirts with the sleeves cut off. But like I said, I'm not trying to really attract attention. It's just I want to feel comfortable. But I have put on some weight and I want to I want to probably lose. I don't I ain't really trying to lose weight. I want to just get back in the shape, you know, get my stomach slimmed down, get my arms looking better, my chest looking better. But anyway, I'm about to get something to eat. I want to just say this, man. All the stuff I talk on this channel, I want to apologize to any white viewers that I have. That I have. Believe it or not, this is very sincere. I want to apologize because a lot of the things that I said comes from experience. It comes from, and I'm I'm trying I'm I'm trying my best to not look at things the way I do, but I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. It's very traumatizing the things that I've been through. Some things I, I haven't even really said on this channel yet, and I'm not crying. It's just that I, I've been working all day. I've been um, really busy. And it's uh it is hot down here, but I say things about whites, and I have not gotten any emotional responses and comments like I did when I spoke on um well this is the thing right I I, I don't like I said I I like all comments I get because it it just tells me it gives me more insight on on um the the topic that I'm speaking on. But I spoke on, I just asked a question in the video about do white women find black women, I mean, do white women find black men attractive? And this comment was like, uh, I didn't delete the comment, but it said that um, I'm a disgrace and it's a sh I saw your other video on black women. And like, whenever you speak on black women, people go crazy, people go nuts. It's like you can't say nothing. You can't speak anything that is criticism on on black women. You can't criticize black women at all. It's like you have to uplift them every chance you have. And it's like, by that logic, right? Because if they say how the black women is the backbone of the community, you know, we 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 do it. We, they raise children themselves, and you see the result of that. You see the result of them raising kids with no father. I mean, look at me. I mean, I, I had parents, but I, I told you, I grew up in a, in a dysfunctional divorce household. So when I wasn't with my dad, I was with my mother. And let me tell you, it was a lot of times when I didn't get along with my dad's girl, I had to go with my mom. So you could say it was more 50-50. I spent time with both, but it would have worked out better if I had two parents in the, that were together in the same household raising me. That would have just worked out a lot better. I know nothing is perfect, but we look at how many broken up families are in the black community and you see the result of of having children in the black community when they're not married. It's this is just a result. Look at me, look at a lot of black kids that you see, you know, in jail, you know, with records. That's just the result of it. But I I was just giving my intake on white people in videos and i never got a response like i do when i speak on black women and i want to apologize because like i said there's things that i stand on i still stand on the fact that race does not really come together during competition like jobs in prison anytime you're competing it's every man for himself i mean nobody really comes together when you compete but i stand on that because it's true but um you know, I, I'm not going to I'm not going to just talk down on white people because like I told you, I'm going to say this again. The job I have actually a Hispanic person gave me that job, but the job I have, the air I breathe, the money I have, the, the ability to do shit in this country comes from white. So I ain't going to talk down on white people because like I said, there's it's no way I would have gotten this without white people. But. Um, and one more thing too, because I was looking at a a uh, episode of American Gangland 
last night on um, YouTube. It was this episode about the ARA. They were like a um, like a white nationalist group. This is my one question for any white nationalists out there, because I noticed that it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of white power groups, and they all have this one common ideology. And I don't understand this at all. They think that a race war is going to break out. A race war will break out. And um, <laughs> the black man is going to rape the women, murder the kid, murder, uh, kill kill all the white people, rape their women, molest their kids, all this. I've heard this before from other groups because a lot of white power groups are very anti-government because they don't agree with race mixing. And like I said, there are things they say I agree with and there are things that I disagree with. But what I this is what I disagree with, what I don't understand. If it's going to be a race war, right? <laughs> it's going to be a race war with the blacks, whites, all races are like going at each other. When you say race war, you mainly mean blacks and whites because it was a race war four years ago. If it's a race war, who do you think is going to win the race war? Because we have Bloods, we have Crips, we have GDs, uh, we have uh, what's the whatever goes against GDs. I think it's Black Disciples. We got all kind of gangs that kill each other every day. We have Planned Parenthood. Um, we have you know diabetes that runs in the Black community, sickle cell. Uh, we have uh what else diabetes aids hiv i don't know all the medical terms because y'all know i'm sensitive to uh looking at medical information but we got all these diseases that kill us if y'all really wanted to kill us right if y'all really wanted to take us out y'all could just do it already because it's more of y'all than us that's just one thing i don't understand how are we going to really um how are we any any how are we a threat when it's less of us and more of you I mean, y'all would just combine all like together, like have Utah and Washington and Montana and all them states with no black people. Just go to Chicago, go to Philly, go to uh, Miami or or, or like Savannah, Georgia, wherever is a black city. Y'all just do what y'all do. And, and that's how y'all win. But I, I don't understand that y'all preparing for a race war. Against who? Because you, you guys would all automatically win if it's more of you than us. But uh, that's all. Because I, I was just laughing at that last night. But I appreciate the fact that you know I don't I don't get that same amount of like like spam and, and messages. And like I said, I respect everybody's opinion. I respect everybody's comments. But I'm not one thing. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to lie on my videos. I'm not kissing nobody's ass. I say what I'm, I'm, I meant what I said, and I believe what I said 100%. <laughs> because it's a lot of, I, I've had a lot of jobs where the black female of today, notice I didn't say of my, my grandmother's generation, but the black female of today has given me a lot of problems relating to working and getting on my fucking nerves. It's a lot of, it's a, it's, it's a lot, it's that, it's, that's a very common factor in a lot of these bullshit jobs, man. But I appreciate the whites who I've made videos on not responding so emotional, not leaving me um, comment after comment. I appreciate that. And like I said, I don't I don't want everybody to agree with me because, like I said, it's it's things I, I don't really expect people to agree with me. But we always talk about white people, man. I, I think I'm done talking about white people at this point. I, I think I'm done. <laughs>